despite a lucky three points yesterday in Wales, the travelling Chelsea fan sent out a clear message to the Chelsea board yesterday WHIC. HTTP colon slash slash www.chelsea.org slash 2019 slash 04 slash Maurizio dash sorry dash fans dash have dash turned dash and dash it's dot HTML despite a lucky three points yesterday in Wales, the travelling Chelsea fan sent out a clear message to the Chelsea board yesterday which will grab most of the headlines this morning. It's now time for Roman Abramovic to prove he remains committed to Chelsea and to get involved. It sounds ridiculous for me to even say that after everything he has done for our club but, with all these rumours rife that he is looking to sell up with his visa issues and the fact that Marina Granovskava isn't cut out for working two jobs at the football club, he needs to get involved. It's clear and obvious that Maurizio Sarri was backed heavily by Marina to be appointed and she got her way. Maurizio Sarri had been appointed based on footballing philosophies that delivered attractive football but no actual trophies. We have over the years understood that Roman's ultimate dream in addition to winning the Champions League was to deliver Barcelona ESQ, under Pep Guardiola, football. Despite his lack of actual silverware, Maurizio Sarri was identified as the person to bring it to Chelsea and just look at where we find ourselves now in the games, we have lost or thrown points away. It's one thing to play attractive football in an inferior league over in Italy. If people question that statement, then take Juventus out of the equation and look at the Italian team's involvement in the Champions League as evidence. Two or three, at best, teams fight for the title in each season and that's it. The quality and depth is by far inferior to the Premier League. The position of Jorginho remains a major concern. Chelsea have lost seven games this season, drawn six games and conceded 34 goals which is the joint fourth best out of the top six, level with Arsenal and only better than Manchester United. It remains no coincidence that by playing him in front of our back four is a contributing factor as he offers nothing to protect them. Don't get me started with N'Golo Kante either. For a team to be successful in this country it's imperative that you remain as solid as you can be at the back. You build a base, get that sorted and work from there. It almost seems to me that Maurizio Sarri has worked from the attacking three backwards. The focus appears to be what we can between the lines in attack rather than those in defensive areas. There has been this staunch refusal to change anything with his team, the formation and our tactical approach for the most part of the season. The only slight tweak to his tactics worked against Manchester City in the League Up final followed by victory over Tottenham three days later in the Premier League. That seemed to be the way forward for us from that point onwards to the end of the season, but, despite the fact we looked more solid, Sarri reverted back to type in the game since and as a result we struggled to beat Fulham and Cardiff in addition to losing to Everton. At least Antonio Conte actually had a look at his squad for a couple of months to learn about his players and to decide what formation actually suits those he had available. By doing that and implementing the chance to a back three to repair the holes in our shaky defense at the time, he transformed our fortunes with the title one. He did not continue to try and force the players into a style that does not suit them or ask players to step away from their natural positions. People have debated Maurizio Sarri and his tactics for a couple of months now. Those that are pro Sari have often said that once he gets his own players into the club we would see everything change and we need to stick with him. That argument is now blown well out of the water with the transfer ban on the horizon. As I have often said, it's not about the future at Chelsea, it's about what happens now with the top four being the minimum we need to achieve. When asked of the Chelsea fans chance of F asterisk 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 sorry ball, and we want sorry out, yesterday, he responded by saying, I don't want to answer because I can understand very well, I have been on the pitch for the last 45 years. I was really disappointed for my players because they were fighting. Maybe it was better to wait until the end of the match. I can understand. Unfortunately I am getting used to this. 
I need to work in order to change their opinion. If you win then the fans will be happy. We need to be better and you need to win matches like this. When I arrived here the team in the table were 30 points behind City, 5th and I want to stay here and improve the results. It wasn't easy work, source, mirror. That's the problem. He keeps on about closing the gap based on our points total last season. It makes no difference if we close the gap and finish 5th does it? He has had the whole season here, he has had opportunities to change for the better and has had opportunities to see where his style lacks solidity at the back but still refuses to change. As I said, we looked as though we found a solution for between now and the end of the season which once again was ignored until we found ourselves at goal down and chasing the game. It's his stubborn attitude, point-blank refusal to accept that his style does not work with these players and his refusal to change anything that has put us in this position outside of the top four with both Liverpool away and Manchester United away still to play. Two defeats in those games reverting back to his main tactic will see our top four hopes fade away and maybe then the Chelsea board will act. It's clear if you ask the majority of the Chelsea fans that Roman Abramovic needs to act now. CD, YouTube channel, https colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash Chelsea Daft Twitter, http colon slash slash twitter.com slash Chelsea Daft Facebook, http colon slash slash www.facebook.com slash Chelsea Daft by Chelsea Daft.